Good morning, everybody. This is the third day of trying to live just on solar power. And as you can see, um, we don't have any sun. It is completely foggy. There's a skyscraper over there off in the distance. Let me zoom in, let me zoom in again. Boom, we have zero sunlight. But on top of that, everything else is dead. The phone that I'm filming this on right now has like 50% charge and my phone in my pocket has like 70. And that's all of the battery power that we have. <laughs> this is probably gonna be the end. At this point, I think I've looked at all of the hostels that you can book online. I want to start going to these hostels that just have like a sign out front and going up there and talking to them and seeing if I can book a room. I want to see what the ones that aren't connected to the internet look like. Okay, I'm actually going to call it quits for the solar panel challenge. Rather than trying to live on my solar panels, I think the only solution is just to buy a bigger battery pack. I think that's the only thing I can do at this point. But that does mean I get to use wall outlets again to do work, so I'm going to go charge everything back up. You know, even though I did technically fail this challenge, this has made me appreciate just how convenient this is, like how nice it is to be able to have access to electricity like that. Anyway, now that I've got access to all of this electricity, I am uh, making some more videos for you guys, so there should be a couple of videos going up today. Uh, I am compiling the full season of Living on $100 in Ukraine, so if you guys want to just watch the entire season of Ukraine back to back, I'm compiling that, and I'm going to post it later today. Honestly, just watching through that season again, looking at all of the stuff I used to do, I used to film B-roll, that's like the slow motion shots of the city. I did like little animations in this. It's, it's crazy seeing just how much I've grown since when I started this. I've, I've actually got footage of my first like 4,000 watch hours when I first became monetized. Watching this season is just like kind of nostalgic for me. Yeah, and knowing that like a lot of the places I filmed right now are possibly like war zones right now. Okay, there we go. I was able to charge up my stuff again. We are whole. Oh, it looks like it's starting to rain. Good. Our hotel isn't that far away. It's only like a mile and a half, maybe two miles away. I just hope I don't get rained on while I'm walking over there. That wouldn't be fun. Check it out. I found a little shawarma spot. I'm not sure who I give this to. So, surprise, surprise, this is actually cheaper than McShawarma. Only by like 30 cents, but still. Hmm. It is still cloudy outside. If I would have tried to continue this challenge, all of my things would be completely dead right now, and I would not be able to film anymore. So, it's a good thing that we're doing this. Uh, the hotel is right there. I've got like three more videos that I need to film today. I'm gonna post them all. I don't care about like blowing up you guys' notifications. I've got a lot of things I need to film, damn it. I actually come to this hotel so often that, the, that like the people that work here, they actually recognize me. It looks like we are on the third floor today. 302. Shit, I just did it again. I told you guys where I'm staying. Damn it. I feel really bad for you guys. It turns out today is just a really busy day for me and I'm up, I, I think I'm uploading five videos today. I'm uploading the video talking about the cargo ship. I'm uploading this video. I'm uploading the video talking about my income. I am uploading the video about the five second Friday and I don't know, it's a busy day. I'm uploading lots of videos, I'm sorry. Life happens.